What is up guys? So some big news in the LG OLED community this week. I gotta say, since I've owned my 48 inch LG C1, I've had already four or five software updates. LG is continuously making these panels better and they're not stopping this week and they're not gonna stop anytime soon, I presume. But this week, 03.11.23 is rolling out to LG C1 and G1 owners across the world. And this update's a big one. It enables Dolby Vision at Ultra HD resolution at 120 Hertz. So if you own an Xbox Series X, for example, and you're gaming at 4K 120, you no longer have to simply use HDR10. Now you can use Dolby Vision HDR. Prior to the 03.11.23 update, if you were gaming at 4K 120 and you tried to engage Dolby Vision, it automatically reverted you back to 60 Hertz. It was some kind of glitch or something wrong with the software, but that, that has been fixed now with the 03.11.23 update. So you can game 4K 120 with Dolby Vision and it's, that's glorious. You know, that's kudos to LG for making this drastic improvement. That's great news. And it doesn't stop there. Uh, LG is also verifying the possibility of simultaneously activating Dolby Vision and FreeSync. Wow. So you can play 4K 120 VRR with Dolby Vision. It does not get better than that. And because the C1 and the G1 are HDMI 2.1 compliant, you're also getting Chroma 444 for full color information. So right now, without question, in my opinion, there are just there's no better line of TVs for video gaming than the 2021 LG OLED line, specifically the C1 and the G1. That said, a lot of people who own the LG C10 and the LG G10 from 2020, and even some who own the LG C9 from 2019, have been asking on my, on my YouTube channel, have you heard anything uh, for the C10, the C9? Are those TVs also gonna get this Dolby Vision update? And rest assured, the C10 and G10 2020 line is definitely getting this update. So HD Blog goes on to say, as reported by John Archer of Forbes, the Korean giant is working on other firmware that will add the same features on other models in the 2020 and 2021 range. As far as the C9, LG is exploring the possibility of releasing a patch for that television as well, although nothing as of right now is set in stone. But at the very least, if you own the C1 and G1, you're getting patched now with the 03.11.23. And if you own the C10 and G10 from 2020, you will get patched in July. You just gotta kinda hold on another few weeks and then hopefully that patch will be rolled out. So while 03.11.23 just came out and is still being rolled out in some regions of the world, LG is not done yet. They are expected to release 03.15.27 for the LG C1 and G1 later this week or into the weekend, which makes additional changes to the game optimizer interface. So first of all, you'll be able to choose from three color options, purple, orange, and green. You can kind of see them here. This is what purple would look like, for example. It just kind of makes the menu interface look a little bit more sleek and a little bit more gamer friendly, if you will, a little bit cooler, if you will. Uh, they have orange and green. So it's nice to have, you know, some choice with your menu and your interface, but that's not all. LG is also going to add with this .27 update, they're going to add the in-game dashboard, a panel located along the bottom edge of the screen that allows you to quickly check the main settings for games. Now, if you still want to make like major changes to your, whether you use G-Sync or whether or not you use boost or standard input lag or whether or not you do, you know, fine tune VRR, things like that. You're still gonna have to go into the main menu section of game optimizer. But if you quickly wanna see what settings your game is playing at on the fly, you'll be able to see this game dashboard or like a panel they call it, located along the bottom edge of your screen. They go on to say, for complete controls, you always use the game optimizer menu itself. What a welcome addition. So first of all, now with Dot 2.3, we get 4K 120 Dolby Vision Gaming with FreeSync VRR. And then with Dot 2.7, which is gonna come out later this week, you're getting an overhaul of game optimizer mode. It's looking more attractive. It's looking more sleek. It's adding a game dashboard so that you can quickly see what frame per second your game's running at, etc. What a welcome, welcome addition. And that's not all. The Dot 27 software will also expand the gallery, adding some new images that users will be able to view to not see a black screen when the TVs are not in use. So, wow. Great job, LG, I gotta say. So I do not obviously have the 2.7 update yet, 
But when I do get the 2.7 update from my LG C1, I will immediately uh, tinker around with the game optimizer mode. I will make a video for this YouTube channel letting you know how I feel about the new game optimizer, how much it's really changed, how much it's still the same, does it look better, how, is, how does the game dashboard work, uh, how does that operate during gameplay. So stay tuned to my channel, Steady Chaos Productions, here for more information on this 03.15.27 update later this week. Okay, guys? All right, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, please subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys really soon with more information. Later.